Archaeologists work in some of the most remote areas of the world. Strange supernatural creatures, sometimes called monsters, The Maya used different methods to represent numbers. In addition to adorning themselves with jewelry and There, that looks like it's in order. Greetings. See you around, Henrik. Bye. I need to find another piece. It needs a card. should put in my temple key card.
How are the tasks coming along? Can you explain how you want me to reorder that Maya numbering exhibit? Check with Henrik on that. I've got work to do. See you around. The Maya were pantheistic, believing in many gods who ruled over different aspects of Maya life. Chak was the god of rain. Ishel, goddess of the moon, presided over childbirth and basket weaving. A how kin? Just one more tile. There, now I can start putting this together.
that's done. I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. I see you succeeded in reconstructing that Maya pot. Do you know what the glyph on it means? No, I was hoping you could tell me. Place name glyphs are some of the rarest and most difficult to translate. Even most of my colleagues wouldn't have a clue about this one. Ah, uh, but I'm a rare breed myself, Nancy, and this is one of my areas of expertise. You've got my undivided attention. The glyph on that pot signifies the great ancient Maya city of Copan in Honduras. There happens to be a very important dig going on there right now. Do you know any of the archaeologists there? I have a few connections, yes. I'm keeping up with the action by ham radio. What is the Spectro-X Archaeo Analyzer for? It's used for identifying chemical compounds that are found on artifacts, traces of ink, blood, charcoal, and other substances. The beauty of the machine is that it can collect these traces without damaging the artifact in any way. But it cost us a fortune, so don't fiddle with it unless you get Joanna's permission. See you around, Henrik. Will do. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose. May I speak to Franklin Rose, please? Who may I say is calling? This is Nancy Drew. Just a minute, please. Nancy, great to hear from you. How's the internship treating you? Are Joanna and Henrik showing you the ropes? So far, so good, I think. There's a lot of work to do before we launch this exhibit, but somehow we'll pull it off. Glad to hear you're settling in. I'm off to a meeting, but feel free to call me if you have any questions. I'm sure everything's going to be smooth sailing, Mr. Rose. Bye, kiddo. It's locked.
that looks right. I don't think he'll be there at this hour. I don't think he'll be there at this hour. See you around, Henrik. I suspect you will. Come in. How are the tasks coming along? I've got work to do. Carpe diem. It's about time! Oh, my fears are like maggots infesting my poor old carcass! Want a cookie? They're from Oaxaca. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm trying to cut back. Now, what's going on? The art world is being ransacked, Nancy. Prudence Rutherford, a major patron of the arts, had her fire ruby necklace stolen from her villa in Topeka. Two weeks later, a whole display case full of rare Maya artifacts was heisted from a museum in New Mexico. Do you think there's a connection between the two thefts? Who knows? I'm just telling you, this community, our friends and colleagues, my people are being systematically trounced by thugs! Who's to say Beach Hill won't be next? You've got to do something! Does Joanna share your concerns? I've urged Joanna to approach the board about making some security upgrades, but she just keeps saying that the timing isn't right to ask for money. I understand your concern, but what can I do to help? We need your eagle eyes. We need your bat ears. We need you to sniff out the stink of trouble. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but I'm just a detective, you know. I'm not bionic. Don't play modest mouse with me. Okay, no more flattery. Hey, that's an interesting piece. There, by your desk. Something tells me it's not a Maya artifact. How about that rubber shark? The artist's name is Poppy Dada. She's a teenager in South Dakota. The art world is going bananas over her stuff. I'll unload that one for some serious dinero. Is Poppy Dada her real name? I don't know. Alejandro says you're unethical, a modern-day conquistador, that you're robbing Mexico of its cultural history. <laughs> and I say Alejandro is the real bully of the playground. A lunch money extortionist who loves nothing more than to see the other boys and girls go hungry. Joanna says you performed an act of wizardry in helping Beach Hill acquire the Pakal carving. Getting those provenance docks together was a pig and a half. Oh, they're on the up and up, I assure you. 
But ah, to have been at the height of my career back before the crackdown, those were the days. A pig and a half? Maybe sometime I'll tell you a sad story I call How Mexico Lost Its Sense of Humor. Not today, though, Nancy. When you sell a piece of art, what kind of commission do you get? Standard, 10%. It's no king's ransom, unless, of course, you sell something for a million bucks. Too bad I'm not allowed to put that monolith on the market, huh? I'd better get going. Keep up the good work. Nancy, the police are on their way. I should talk to Joanna before I touch anything. <laughs> 